Stand up. Circle your arms forward. Nice and slow. Really big circles. Circle your arms backwards. That's it. Nice job. One forward. One backwards. Excellent. Switch the other way. Side to side. That's it. Put your hands on your hips. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look on one side. Look to the other side. Switch. And then switch. Put your ear to one knee. I mean, your ear to one shoulder. Whoopsies. Put your ear to the other shoulder. That's it. Circle your hips one way. Circle your hips the other way. That's it. Put your hands on the knees. Circle the knees one way. And the other. Roll your ankles like so. Legs apart. Stretch towards the middle and put your elbows on the floor. Reach behind you as far as you can. Feel the reach. Put your nose to one knee. 
with your ears that knee. Put your nose in the other knee. Put your ear to that knee. That's it. Now bend the one knee to the this way. There you go. And slide to the other side. Excellent. And slide. Good. And slide. And slide. Very nice. Okay. Now I want you to try a different kind of stretch now. Make a bob over here. Now I want you to focus on your balance for the rest of these stretches. Now in your house, I bet you have counters. I bet you got a couch. I bet you got a chair. Okay, so prop your leg up on something. If you're short, do something low if you're not very flexible and stretch. I'm a little taller than some of you, so I'm going to put mine up here on Bob's shoulder. Okay, you can find something in your house you can hold on to. Try and keep your balance and stretch. There you go. Good. Really stretch. And put your ear on that same knee. Try to. Very good. Awesome. Nice, so let's try the other leg. Pick it up. Good. Try to put your nose to your knee. Try and put your ear to that same knee. Very good, and let's try and do it sideways. This one's a little harder. Pick your leg up and just try and keep your body upright. It, this hurts right here. There you go. Nice. Now let's try the other side. Sideways. And try and stretch. Try and keep your body straight. Other side. Very good. All right. Very good. Let's move all out of the way a little bit. Those are some fun stretches we can do with each other. I mean, to do at home with on your countertop on your couch, on a chair, anything of that nature, okay? Now, you kids, I've done booty balance with. I wanna see if you can do it standing up, just one leg. So, hold on to something, grab your foot to your heel, and stretch it out. Try and keep the balance. If you need to hold on to something, do it. Very nice, very nice. Let's try the other leg. That was good on this side. And hold it out. Try and keep your balance and put your foot down. Woo! All right, that's pretty good. Right back, body set. Ski! Let's do some leg raises. These are stretches, not kicks, okay? Miss Red, keep your hands up the whole time though. Ready? Itch, leg, leg extensions. Knee. Count with me. Sign. She. Go. Ruku. Sichi, Hachi, Ku, and Ju. Hi! Hunter, stretch your feet. Let's do the other side. Itch, Knee, Sun, Shi. See, I keep my hands up on my guard all the time. Go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, now, even when I'm just doing my leg raises, my hands are up. You have to get into a habit of keeping your hands up all the time. Okay, up and away from your body. Not like this. That's not very scary, but up and away from your body. Not just lazy arms that are hanging here. Now, why do we put our hands up? I don't know, Sensei. Why do we put our hands up? We got important things up here. Okay, your body can be conditioned to take punches and kick. As a matter of fact, we have a word for that. Everyone say, kote aite. Again, kote aite. Kote aite, body conditioning. Okay, I can take being punched in the body. I do crunches, I know how to take a punch, I know how to do a key on. But you know one place I can't take a condition for a punch? My head. Okay, your head can't be punched. It's not like in the movies 
where they, well, you know, they get into a 20 minute fight where they knock each other out and then they walk off with their girlfriend later on the date. That's not gonna happen. Someone punches you once or twice in the head, you're going to the hospital. You may very well have brain damage or die. Okay, so you must hold your hands up. Okay, especially if it's a real attack. Right, you got your brains up here. Football players wear helmets, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Football players wear helmets. <coughs> Take some water for the pitcher. Reach for the sky. Down and touch your toes. Reach for the sky. And down and touch your toes. Cross your feet and touch your toes. Cross your feet the other way and touch your toes. Stand up. Circle your arms forward. Nice and slow. Really big circles. Circle your arms backwards. That's it. Nice job. One forward, one backwards. Excellent. Switch the other way. Back and forth. Side to side. shoulder. Whoopsies. Put your ear to the other shoulder. That's it. Circle your hips one way. Circle your hips the other way. That's it. Put your hands on the knees. Circle the knees one way. And the other. Roll your ankles like so. Legs apart. Stretch towards the middle, and put your elbows on the floor. Reach behind you as far as you can. Do a reach. Put your nose to one knee. Put your ear to that knee. Put your nose to the other knee. Put your ear to that knee. That's it. Now bend the one knee to the this way. There you go. And slide to the other side. Excellent. And slide. Good. And slide. And slide. Very nice. Okay. Now I want you to try a different kind of stretch now. Make a bob over here. You to focus on your balance for the rest of these stretches. Now, in your house, I bet you have counters. I bet you got a couch. I bet you got a chair. Okay, so prop your leg up on something. If you're short, do something low if you're not very flexible. And stretch. I'm a little taller than some of you, so I'm going to put mine up here on Bob's shoulder. Okay, you can find something in your house you can hold on to. Try and keep your balance and stretch. There you go. Good. Really stretch. Now put your ear on that same knee. Try to. Very good. Awesome. Nice. So let's try the other leg. Pick it up. Good. Try to put your nose to your knee. Try and put your ear to that same knee. Very good, and let's try and do it sideways. This one's a little harder. Pick your leg up and just try and keep your body upright. It, this hurts right here. There you go. Nice. 
Nice, now let's try the other side. Sideways, and try and stretch. Try and keep your body straight. Other side. Very good. All right, very good. Let's move all out of the way a little bit. Those are some fun stretches we can do with each other. I mean, to do at home with on your countertop, on your couch, on a chair, anything of that nature. Okay. Now, you kids, I've done booty balance with. I want to see if you can do it standing up, just one leg. So hold on to something, grab your foot to your heel, and stretch it out. Try and keep the balance. If you need to hold on to something, do it. Very nice. Very nice. Let's try the other leg. That is good on this side. And hold it out. Try and keep your balance. And put your foot down. Woo! All right, that's pretty good. Right back body set. Ski! Do some leg raises. These are stretches, not kicks, okay? Miss Red, keep your hands up the whole time, though. Ready? Itch, leg, leg extensions. Knee. Count with me. Sign. She. Go. Ruku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. And Ju. Hi. Hunter, shoot your feet. Let's do the other side. Itch. Knee. Sign. She. See, I keep my hands up on my guard all the time. Go. Ruku. Sichi. Hachi, ku, ju. Now, even when I'm just doing my leg raises, my hands are up. You have to get into a habit of keeping your hands up all the time. Okay, up and away from your body. Not like this. That's not very scary, but up and away from your body. Not just lazy arms that are hanging here. Now, why do we put our hands up? I don't know, Sensei. Why do we put our hands up? We got important things up here. Okay, your body can be conditioned to take punches and kick. As a matter of fact, we have a word for that. Everyone say, koteite. Again, koteite. Koteite, body conditioning. Okay, I can take being punched in the body. I do crunches, I know how to take a punch, I know how to do a key on it. But you know one place I can't take a condition for a punch? my head. Okay, your head can't be punched. It's not like in the movies where they, well, you know, they get into a 20 minute fight where they knock each other out and then they walk off with their girlfriend later on a date. That's not going to happen. Someone punches you once or twice in the head, you're going to the hospital. You may very well have brain damage or die. Okay, so you must hold your hands up. Okay, especially if it's a real attack. Right, you got your brains up here. Football players wear helmets, right? Hey, it's time for our kick challenge. I challenge you to this kick challenge. We're gonna do 50 kicks. Are we ready? Each leg. Well, yeah, each leg. Ready? Ready back bison. Hi! Now we'll do 50 kicks uh total of both legs instead. Ready back bison! Hi! Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun, she, go, keep your hands up, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Now turn this way. Itch, Ni, Sun, she, go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Now turn this way. Itch, Ni, Sun, she, Go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Turn this way. Itch, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. And last time. Itch, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ruku. Sichi, Hachi, Ku, and Ju. Very good. Woo! My legs are burning. How about yours? 
Good. Now, last class, Sensei Glenn talked about some footwork. It's Tai Sabah, right? Tai Sabah. Step back and slide. Step back and slide. Step back and slide. Step back and slide. The most important thing in karate isn't necessarily how to punch and kick. It's how to get out of the way. Okay? If I get out of the way, I won't have to fight at all. I can avoid the kick and beat feet and leap. Okay? Avoidance. All right? But you got to pay attention, stay focused, and learn how to move. If you just stand there, you're more than likely going to get hit. Now, I want you to try a few things, okay? We're going to tie the block, high block, punch, punch. And tie the block the other way, high block, punch, punch. Itch. Knee, sun, she, go, ruku, sichi, hachi, ku, zhu. Okay, do it again. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, ruku. Sichi, Hachi, Ku, and you. Very good, very good. All right, now listen. MP series. Okay, all of you guys have to know it. Okay, so let's go over it one more time. Ready? Your Miggy side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Hidari side. Itch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. White belts need to know the first five in karate. Uh, yellow belts have to know all ten in karate. My uh, orange belts in, up have to know, in my karate classes, have to know all 10 with footwork. And this is already a, a requirement for jujitsu. All right, but we also think it's important so my karate students, this is part of your core requirements as well. So make sure you know it. Now, some of the moms have told me that some of you are having, and some of the adults tell me they're having a hard time learning the new katas I've given you because you're used to seeing me from behind. Okay, so I'm going to do your Epines shooting me from behind and your Wansu shooting me from behind. Okay, first I'm going to do Wansu from the side and a very slow learning type of a cut. And we'll do it super slow for our training purposes. Okay. One, two. Dragon boy, dumping form. Feet and toes together. Toes out, palms up. Heels out, make a pyramid. Kiai! Open your left hand, step left to right. Breathe in and do that. Step back with your left foot, push your hands out. Step back with your right foot, bring your hands in. Low block with your left, hook punch with your right. Step forward in, low block. Turn your hips and punch. Step forward in, open hand blocks. Turn your hips and covered punch. Groin strike. Snap your head this way. Low block, punch. Open hand block, punch. Groin strike. Look again. Low block, punch. Open hand block, punch, groin strike, lock, low block, punch, kick, kiai, drop your hands, grab.
Now we're going to do that again with a rear view facing the mirrors, okay? wax on and we did wax off okay for wrist grabs okay those work really good okay all you gotta do is make a circle all right and they let go of you this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different okay I'm gonna show you a self-defense from a hook from a um, haymaker hook punch now this is the only time this is the only move I've actually ever had to use in real life to defend myself is this move. Someone tried to mug me and they tried to attack me and I just practiced the move that we did the night before in called karate class. Since they Glenn had gone over this move the night before and we did it again and again and again and again. So when I was actually attacked, all I did was react. I didn't even think about it. Okay? So since they Glenn is going to come out, well first you're going to watch me. We're going to walk and do the footwork. Someone throws a hook punch at me. The first thing I'm gonna do is step out of the way and block with one hand, okay? Then I'm gonna, my hand's already here at their shoulder, okay? I'm blocking at their shoulder. I'm gonna hook behind their head and elbow strike. That's it. That's all it is, it's pretty simple. So, the bad guy here, Bob, has thrown a hook punch at me. First off, if I stand here, he's gonna hit me. So I'm going to step out of the way and block where his shoulder should be. Then my hand is already here, so I'm just going to scoop the back of his neck, turn my hip, and elbow strike. Okay? Or you could do a bridge hand strike. Either one. Or you could do a open hand strike. The one I did was the elbow, because that's what we happen to do. And that's what? Elbow number one, right? Exactly. Now, since a blend is going to come back here, and he's going to do this move, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It works really well. Okay, but you have to be very careful when you practice this. Especially those of you that do have partners, like Cynia and Sophia and Anastasia and Maxim. That's, that's a whole class, right? And that family sensei. So they got two kids that can partner with each other. So you guys actually can do this. Be very careful and don't hurt your partner. Okay, now since they blend, He's the bad guy. He's going to try and throw a hook punch at me. Now, if I just stand here, this is going to hit me. So i got to move out of the way, right? So I'm going to stand, boom, step, and I'm blocking really far on his shoulder. All right? Then I'm going to scoop my hand behind his head and just turn my hips. Boom. It's pretty easy. Now, if you have a partner with them, you, they should put their hands up during this move to make sure you don't hurt them by accident. Okay, so watch again. Since again, he's gonna throw the, the hook punch at me, and a step to the front. Ah! Feet, feet out of there. Okay, I'm gonna do it to Sensei Glenn. He's the one who taught me he does it the best. Okay, he's gonna step. Hey! Oh, man, that would hurt. Thank you, Sensei Glenn. Us. That's our self-defense for the week. Okay, I want you to practice Practice, practice, okay? There's one more thing I want to talk to you about today, all right? And that's safety. All of us are in some crazy times right now, okay? We're not in school like we're used to being in school. We're having to take our classes at home. We're having to stay at home. Mom and dad are having to stay at home. It's crazy. We have to wear masks. So I want you to be careful. Because one day everything is going to be back to normal. But we want to stay healthy and listen to all the safety precautions in order to do that. So make sure you always wash your hands really well. Sing happy birthday two times. That's 20 seconds. With warm water and lots and lots of soap. Sanitize a couple times a day. Don't touch your face. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your mother's nose. Don't pick your brother's nose. Don't chew on your fingernails. Okay, don't chew on your thumbs, don't suck your thumbs. Don't do that, okay? You gotta be very careful. Anytime you sneeze, sneeze into your elbow. 
and try and make to keep 10 feet away or six feet away from anyone you don't know. And the last thing, for your own safety, whenever you have to go out and you can't keep six feet away, wear a covering over your face. Okay, it's very important. All right, I want everybody to stay safe. Now feet go together, escape. Repeat after me. I shall conduct myself in a manner which will reflect credit upon myself and society. I shall be loyal to my school and to the art that it teaches. I shall be honest and exercise integrity with the purpose of developing cooperation and trust with my fellow karatika and my teachers. I shall exercise restraint in the use of my karate knowledge, employing it only in fair competition or in defense of my life, my family, my country. Escape! Shone Tishidere! Sensei Nire! Oops! Stay safe. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. One soup. First basic steps.